Okay, let's do this. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I shouldn't say that, huh? I'm gonna jinx myself. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do something a little different, something I hadn't actually planned on doing, but got to thinking afterwards that we really ought to do it. And that is that we're going to push into Tharkas Cascade here and see if we can put a defense platform um, at this gate here uh, and stem the tide of Xenon that are just pouring through here. The primary reason I'm doing this is because that opens up a direct uh, or a much more direct route up into the northern sectors here. Um, I'm not even necessarily going to take Tharkas Cascade 15 over from the Xenon. Uh, it's not a particularly valuable system. I guess it's got, you know, 141 million silicon, but it's also, you know, the one that does haul or haul or shield damage. But I just want to open up this pathway so we can safely or at least relatively safely uh, move through here. So it's got, uh, this thing here is like a partial defense tower. It's like only one section of a defense tower. This is some kind of weird shit inside of an asteroid. I don't even know what, what it is or if it matters. There's a couple normal defense platforms and a solar uh, power plant over here. So we don't even necessarily need to take the stations out um, either. I just wanna I just wanna stop them from coming through this gate. Um, that's kind of the main the main goal there. Um, so what I have here in Hetikva's Choice is I have my fleet ready to go. And in the fleet, we have... Um, uh, I have seven <clears throat> in Carcachuas. Because uh, I bought two more. And the reason I bought two more is because it takes six and a half-ish in Carcachuas to haul all of the materials that we need for me to build my my defense tower and i want to <clears throat> haul all the stuff all at once because uh, we have all the materials now in our build uh, you know our our building supplies depot um but i want to uh take those with us and then we just drop it off and boom it's it's all ready there i also am bringing our builder with us because we have finished our uh, building supplies depot let's take a quick look at that uh, so this is completely finished now um, it's kind of cool looking too. It's got all these like almost skyscrapers, these habitats here on the front. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's, um, yeah, it's just cranking out the building supplies. I need to tweak it a little bit more. Um, but as you can see, we're, you know, we have like plenty of, of all the stuff that we need, the hull parts, all that kind of stuff, you know, for building these events towers, really building just about anything in terms of structures. Um, so that's going well, and let's see, I also have, off camera, got a bunch of bad guys coming through there. I have also set up a training station in 2 Grand. Um, so right up here, for the purpose of servicing both Xyarth space and free family space. It's it's in a really good spot. It's like a, you know, this is like a hub sector. And even, you know, down into the Talati space too, as needed. Um, so this wasn't really making making me any money without ships assigned to it. I, you know, I kind of wanted to just have the AI buy itself from it directly, but it just wasn't working after a lot of, you know, running it and with, on SETA and stuff. So I finally went ahead and just assigned it uh, I got five new vultures and assigned to that. And then once I did that, it started making money because the vultures are taking the product, you know, to where it needs to go. Uh, as far as the pricing goes on here, I have, um, I have everything current. I, I need to tweak it some more, but I have everything currently set to um, buy at about two-thirds and sell it uh, or buy it about a third sell it two-thirds kind of it's not rocket science but it's just you know as you can see uh, so the margin is not very big there but 
Uh, I, you know, it just needs further tweaking and it just needs more time to. Uh, and then the last thing I did was, I, I don't remember if I told you guys if I was going to do this or not, but I added to our building supplies depot, uh, or no, sorry, not that, uh, to our defense platform in Matrix 9, I actually added a whole parts factory with four whole part modules. Um, and this is really cool because if we teleport to the station, Entering then we come out here and look up. Matrix that is just freaking awesome, man. Nine. Look at that. <laughs> Those big ass factories way up in the air. Uh, so I'm standing right now on the defense platform that we originally built, you know, with the admin station. And then I built a, a whole complex uh, above this. And it's just, I don't know, it looks so damn cool uh, when you look at it from down above. So, yeah, so that's the original defense platform there. And then I have a, a an E pier down below. And then all of the modules are up above here uh, for, you know, to support for hull part factories which are these guys right here and when you're down here and looking up at the place uh that's what you're those blue things are the hull part factories that's what you're actually looking at so it's so cool man the first time i came here after it was finished and looked at i'm going oh man that is just awesome it's it's just so when, when you're on foot you know it's just so much larger than it looks like when you're flying around in a ship in space uh, just really cool. Um, so, yeah, and I've got two vultures assigned to this station and some miners and stuff like that, too. So it's it's also making us some money. And, uh, yeah, so we're doing pretty good there. I've, I've still been, you know, as usual, spending money, too, just to set this stuff up. So we're sitting at $89 million right now in our wallet. And uh, that's slowly going up. I, I kind of want to build my money back up a little bit before we start spending more money. Uh, but I have a lot of expensive things on the to-buy list, including, uh, not the least of which, a Raptor, um, because I totally want to get a carrier, and that'll probably be our next uh, next big purchase. Okay, let's go back to here, and we're going to... Ah, uh, we're going to teleport back to the Rattlesnake. Yeah, that just looks so cool, man. We do... I think so anyways, Entering when you look system. at it from, you know, on foot. Choice. Okay, so here's how this is going to go down. Um, basically, I'm going to have, uh, let's see, I've got all of the fighters on intercept. You have a good aim so everybody's currently following the Orca. And I might... I think I'm going to have the Osakas join me. Because that way we can, you know, deal with... There's, there was a couple of Ks floating around in that system last time I looked. Um, so let's have them attack with me. Joining squad. And I'm actually currently... Or the Rattlesnake, rather, is currently in the Orca leaked or is it what's its default order yeah uh wait hold on yeah it is so i want to remove it out of the fleet altogether and just have it stay on hold position if i need to teleport out of it okay so what i'm going to do is um junk. i think i'm going to keep the fighters with the orca so so that they can fly interception and then i've got the builder and the freighters following the orca and we're just going to kind of you know take point and fly in front of them and uh, stay close enough to them to where you know the little fighters will deal with the small ships and me and the four osakas will deal with uh, any big boys that get in our way so with that being said what i'm going to do is uh give the orca the command to fly Striking. I don't want them to fly near the stations so probably what I'll do is I'll have it fly in between these two stations here and then fly up to the gate. Okay. And 
then like I said, we'll go in front of it. Uh, there's there's a K right here. And there's also a... That looks like a Sin. Is that a Sin? Oh no, that's an Asgard. Okay, well, I haven't been too impressed with the way the AI handles the Asgard in this game. Um, but they're... Yeah, see, they're not even hurting him. They're so stupid. The AI is just, they don't know how to use those ships the way they're supposed to. But, you know, what? what it is what it is. Um, so, anyway, yeah, we'll be, we'll be on K and I duty if necessary. Hopefully an I doesn't come through. In fact, you know, let's look. Yeah, see, that's another K. I don't have satellites up any further than this, so I'm not really sure what else might be coming. But we should be able to deal with it. Um, oh, speaking of also, oh yeah, there's something else I got to show you guys too. I forgot. Um, I also set up, and I'm, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, in uh, the void, I set up a defense platform here. And while I was building this, um, I had uh, my fleet guarding this gate to, to prevent the xenon from coming through. And at one point. The, uh, they sent two Ks and an I um, after us, and I took them out. You've already seen me do that, but it's just so freaking cool how that works. I'm just going to show you some real quick footage of that right now. Okay, so yeah, we, uh, we we put up this station here in the void, and ever since we put that thing there, um, we've completely shut the Xenon down from coming through here, because they like to come through the void and into second contact uh, to Flashpoint and just wreak havoc. And this system is finally calm now for the first time since I started this playthrough, and that's going to really help the Antigone, um, you know, get their co economy back up on their feet a little bit. All right, so anyway, um, I think that's all I have to update you on. So we just built those three new stations, excuse me, and uh, bought the new Incarcatuas, and I think we're, we're ready to do this. So we just have to wait for the Orca to get moving. Uh, what are you doing, Orca? <clears throat> Looks like it, it is starting to move. Is it moving? Yeah, it is. Okay, so me and the rattlesnakes, uh, or sorry, the Osakas are going to head on through the gate and um, see what happens here. You know what I'm thinking I might actually do is I'm going to hop out of here for a minute just to help keep those Osakas under control and close to me. Um, I'm going to put them, I'm going to do like a little protect area and just advance the area. Oh, wait, no, I went too far. I'm going, wait a minute. There's a, a station there. Okay. So let's tell the rattlesnake to protect position. And we'll just start by going in front of the gate. And let's make it about a 10 kilometer radius. And eh, maybe even, let's make it a seven. A little tighter than that. Because I want to keep them close to me. And then it works better if you put, the, put them on mimic instead of attack. Because then they will independently protect that area. 
rather than attack what I, what I'm attacking, which doesn't ever really seem to work very well in this game anyways. It sometimes works and sometimes doesn't, uh, from my experience. Okay, so that means the Osakas will go to that area and they'll stay tight in that area until, you know, we, we move the area itself. Okay, let's do this. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I shouldn't say that, huh? I'm gonna jinx myself. I'm not entirely sure how the the hazardous region of this sector is going to affect us. I know it screws up your shields, um, but it also screws up Danger. the xenon shields too. So it's kind of a an even playing field, I guess, in, in that regard. Okay, so we're just going to pop right through the gate here and wait for the fleet to move through, and then we'll just kind of slowly advance with them. And I do, I fully expect this K, if... Yeah, these two are still duking it out. See, the problem is the AI doesn't know, apparently it waiting orders. completely relies upon its turrets. It doesn't know to train the gun of the Asgard on the ship. If it would do that, it could one-shot a K, but I, it doesn't seem to be able to know how to do that, which is a shame because that's really what makes that ship so amazing. But apparently it's not meant <laughs> for AIs to, for the AI to handle so Danger. much. Hazardous region detected. So yeah, we've got the hazardous region here, so we'll just kind of have to see how that plays out. Okay, so the orcas come through. The one thing I don't like about using protect position in the ship that I'm flying is... How the hell did that happen? Oh, never mind. Um, is that I have to get out of here to move the position. Well, to at least visibly see the sphere because it doesn't show it when I'm piloting the ship. God only knows why. Well, God and Egosoft anyways. Okay, so we're going to that direction there. Race it basically where those two um, satellite thingies intersect. So let's start kind of moving this direction, but I don't I don't want it to get too far away from the fleet though either. The fleet's going to be fine from everything except for Ks, but we'll we'll be intercepting the Ks anyways. At least that's the the, the theory anyways. Hazardous region detected. Okay. You know, I could even probably have the AI pilot the rattlesnake and until the Ks show up. Why don't we do that? That way I can actually, um, oh, wait a second. How did you end up back in the Orca group? I thought I told you to not do that. Remove all orders and assignments. Danger. Okay. All right, what happened to these guys? Okay, now you guys mimic the rattlesnake. There. Now, you protect position, um, and we'll go out right about here. Let's make it about 20 kilometers, just because we might, well, it's still a little wide. We'll make it 10. Okay, there we go. Hazardous region detected. So the rattlesnake should move in Danger. that direction. Hazardous region detected. And we'll just kind of watch it. Keep an eye on the case. 
Um, I'll probably do mostly that in the map because I can see better what's going on. I'm hoping the orca waits for everybody. I mean, it's the slowest, the slowest ship in the bunch. But we got we got to make sure that it doesn't get too far ahead of the other ships, or the fighter interception won't be there to help it. All right, now that now the Asgard is pounding the K, and it looks like the Asgard's winning the battle of of turrets, so that's fine with me. If it can get rid of that K, see this other one's coming in now. That's probably the one that we saw coming through up here. So it's possible that Asgard will take care of both of those Ks for us. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. You never know. You never know what's going to happen here. See, all my ships have lost their shields. It sucks, but... It, it's just going to... It really behooves me, though, to to open this system up so we can travel through it. Not necessarily stay in it, but at least travel through it without just getting absolutely um, annihilated by all the Xenon that are through in this place. Here, let's take a look and see what's going on up here. Oh, he's already killed that K. All right, good. Now, hopefully he'll take this one out too, and then we don't have to worry about those Ks. Not that I was worried about him. We could easily take him out, but... Danger. Hazardous I'd rather detected. keep my fleet as safe as possible. Okay, so we have the in in Carcachuas are through. What about the builder? He should be coming quickly here. He's right here. Okay. So the seventh in Carcacho just went through. Um, you need to hold position. You're getting too far ahead. So we'll just wait for the builder to pop into the system. And actually, danger, hazardous region detected. I'm going to give them I'm just going to give them a fly to command. Just to get them a little closer. Or a fly and wait, rather. Okay, let's move the rattlesnake up a little bit. Rattlesnake and crew. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Yeah, you already told us that, lady. We're aware of it. Thank you. All right, what's going on over here? Okay, looks like the Asgard's winning this battle, which is great. That damn builder through yet? Still in a dip of choice. Okay, I'm gonna do some seta. What the hell is he waiting for? Christmas? Alright, I'm gonna I might have to go jump in and fly him over here. I should be able to do that okay because rattlesnakes protect position the orca is hold position and everybody else is following him or her rather okay so let's jump into the builder I don't know what the hell it's doing 
Entering system. A tick fast choice. What are you doing, man? We're trying to do operations here, you moron. <laughs> it's like just sitting here, derpity derpity der. Oh man. <clears throat> you know the problem is I expect the AI to to behave and think like human beings, and I know I, I know that they can't, but uh it seems to me like they could do a, maybe a little bit better job than, or the, I should say the code can do a little bit better job than it does, but I don't know. I'm not a developer, so I do work in IT in real life, but not in development. So I sort of get it, but <clears throat> from a consumer standpoint, when I tell this fucking ship to follow the other ship, it should just plain follow the other ship and not sit around here and just say, beep, 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 you know what I mean? Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Danger. Hazard entering system. Arca's Cascade. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop the travel drive because there's no way I'm gonna make that turn otherwise. Not in this ship. This is a big boy. Cool looking ship though, actually. It's the one Talati ship that doesn't look like any of the other Talati ships. I don't really like care for the look of the Talati ships, to be honest with you. The umbrella looking things. The mushroom ships. Doesn't appeal. Oh, I did take my Orca all the way back to Boron Space and got it fitted with ion pulse uh, turrets too uh, because it, it was running out of missiles I had you know I had originally put tracking turrets on it and just kept running out of missiles and said well that isn't uh, danger something. hazardous region detected and you can't really tell it to go look for for supplies in enemy territory um, but once we you know finished our campaign against the xenon um, I then actually told it to go get supplies, and I had to send it to a couple different places with trading stations, but it eventually resupplied itself, so that was cool. This would be a good place to get some salvage. Okay, we're going to fly you right up to your lead ship. You need to follow her. Quit screwing around. Okay, let's get back into the rattlesnake. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys... to remove your orders because I had them on fly two orders so that way they're back on just following yeah following the orc okay so far so good and it looks like the Asgard did indeed take out both of those K's so good for it I doubt it used its main gun to do that though but oh well okay let's tell the orca to advance to about here And it looks like when I it, it looks like when you move the sphere of the protect position, the mimic ships don't adjust. So what you have to do, because see these Osakas are outside of the sphere after I moved it. Danger. So you Hazardous have to basically reassign them again to get them to to do that. It's bullshit. Why, why give me the option of moving the protect position if, um, what the hell? Why are they doing that? Oh, I assigned him to the wrong ship. Okay, never mind. I assigned him to my, my scout, which is docked on the rattlesnake, not on the fact here. Let's, um... Let's roll him up so we don't ac accidentally do that again. Okay. 
mimic Commander's behavior. I don't know, maybe. Danger. Well, yeah, let's do detected. that. That's the best way I found to keep him close. Okay, now, now the builder is. Oh wait, did I give that command to the builder and not the Os Osaka or the? Oh, I am like so. This has been a long day, you guys. I'm just gonna put, throw that out there. It really actually has. Oh man, a little bit of a rough day in real life for a few different reasons, and I'm just kind of not thinking straight here. Okay, remove all orders. Okay, you are still following the orca. Okay, grab the orca, not the the builder guy. And tell the orca to fly and wait. There we go. That's what we want to do. Okay. We'll get back here on the flight control. Open up the map and see if these guys Danger. can follow these Hazardous very simple instructions. Detected. is moving, but I'm going to stay back until the Incarpatuas and the Builder. Decide that they're going to follow their instructions too. Alright, why is the rattlesnake going that way? It has... I don't know. I don't know why it's going that way. Isn't that a, a guidance thingy? It is. But why would it do that when I'm not the pilot? Unless it's because I'm at this terminal. I don't know. That was weird. That was really weird. Okay, so let's move this up to about here. And I think I'm just going to tell these guys just to attack with me until we get over there and then I'll... Put him back on mimic, so that way Danger. they at least come. Hazardous region detected. Takes a friggin' college degree to figure out how to run fleets in this game. <laughs> I, I, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's sometimes it feels that way. And you know that there's something I've learned about this game. There's, there's two very important principles that you need to understand about this game if you're going to be successful running fleets, okay? The first thing is this. The AI will follow the commands that they have. Okay? So it's my job as the player to make sure that they have the, the correct commands. That's my job. That's on me. And many times I don't do that because I forgot that they were on a certain command or you know for whatever reason wasn't expecting them to do something but that's on Danger. me Hazardous region what detected. I have don't have control over though is once I Awaiting give orders. the AI a command I don't have control of how they execute it and sometimes their execution of the command is is not it, it's it's below par <laughs> it's less than desirable um, so I have no control over that but it's really important to understand that, you know, to be as successful as you as you can be running fleets in this game. So there you go. All right. Let's turn SETA off and let's just have the Osaka's go help this guy out. And we will as well. He's not in any danger because he's got massive Terran shields, but he's he's only danger. equipped with Hazardous region plasma detected. turrets, which in sector aren't going to do damn thing against a fighter. Okay, I'm 
also going to move this up too. I really, and I've said this before, I really wish though that the AI would do a better job of staying together. Like, you know, this guy getting far behind the others. And I'm pretty sure, I have to go back in the video and look, but I'm pretty sure he did that before he was attacked by the fighters. So there's no excuse for it. Come on, Rattlesnake. Take your time. We have until Christmas for you to get there. going to do is remove all Danger. orders Hazardous region detected. and I want you guys to attack multiple objects and I think the main group is currently okay so we will also have the fighters come in and let's just annihilate these bastards ships that might try and come through. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Here comes the fighters. Here comes the cavalry. They had a attack command on that guy because I think he might have shown up later. So they do now. Okay, looks like the Incarcacha was on his way. Okay, so the fighters should be back on their normal commands. You know what? Screw this. This is. Uh, I'll do this. This later. It's Danger. not. Um, Hazardous region detected. Where are they going? Oh, I. They're going after that guy. Okay, no. I don't want them to do that. Remove all orders. Um, I think I'm just gonna pilot the rattlesnake. So let's just remove all of these orders. And I'll just have the Osakas follow me because I mean, if a, if a big ship comes into the system, I'll adjust. But as long as they don't, I think we'll be fine. Where's that Osaka going? Oh, he's got the he's got the command to attack that guy too. <laughs> Wait, does he? Yeah, he does. Okay. Remove all orders. See, it's exactly what I said. They will do exactly what the command tells them to do. It's just that they don't always do it Danger. do it well, but they'll do it. And it's so easy to forget, you know, that they were they're on a particular command. Hey, you want to get get your fat butt moving here, dude? You want me to give you a bump? Engage that travel dive. Let's go. There. <laughs> we gave him a bump. Get moving. All right. 
Why can't I set a... Uh, is it because we're taking damage from the environment, maybe? Danger. Hazardous region detected. Yeah, well, actually, that's what it is. Uh, if I go into the map, will it let me set a... Nope. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, um, I think I'm going to cut the camera here, and I'll I'll bring you back when we get to the gate and get ready to start the build, unless something crazy happens between now and then. I'm just going to have to babysit this dude, because, my goodness, it's taking forever. I might even fly up here with the rest of the group and then teleport back to the Imparcachu and drive him up there. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back when we get to the gate. All right, guys, so uh, we're sitting at the gate. A K just popped through the gate. Uh, so me and the Osakas are there. These guys are still um, taking their own sweet time to get over here. And there's also another K. Uh, there was another K over here and probably still is outside of our satellite range. But um, I believe that the Asgard is starting to take this a solar power plant out which is fantastic that it's doing that um, and I think the K is like I said it probably just got outside of our satellite range so yeah uh, that's where we're at so we're gonna need to dispatch this guy so let's remove all orders and you guys attack and then of course we will do the same get back into first person here shouldn't have too much difficulty taking this guy out. Oh, I also did fit my rattlesnake with Terran shields, so we have vastly improved the shielding on the ship. I did send my scout Awaiting orders. Uh, up here and had him lay down a few more satellites so we can see what's coming, uh, including another cake. Decent amount of little fighters coming. Looks like I probably could send the scout into that system too, but we'll worry about that later, I suppose. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do here is let's have the orca go back a little bit until we deal with this next K that's coming. Up. And likewise, you guys also just kind of chill, chillax right there. I ended up just giving them direct orders to fly over here because they were just taking so long following the orca. It wasn't working so great. Oh, is he not going to come over here? Well, you know what actually I think I'm going to do is... Danger. Hazardous region detected. I'm going to actually send the rattlesnake over on the other side of the gate to protect position with the four Osakas. Um, because I don't want the enemies coming through while we're trying to build anyways. So, let's go ahead and I'm going to pop out of the, the ship here. And... Awaiting orders. We want to put it in front of here. Protect position. over this side a little bit. Let's keep it nice and tight. About seven kilometer area is good. And put you guys on Mimic. But I'm also going to give them a direct fly and wait order too. I'm not going to wait for them to 
Can I help? Sir? You got you got here too quickly. Okay, so let's go through. And me and the Osaka should be able to hold off anything that tries to come through that way. And we'll leave the fighters on this side for to deal with any little guys that still get through. And we should be good doing that, I'm thinking. Pretty sure that gate will be coming this way at some point, sooner or later. Plus, we don't have to worry about the shield issue here. Okay, so all the Osakas are through. Let's remove. Um. Oh, I guess they don't have their fly and wait order after all. Okay, I don't know where the K went. He was kind of heading over this way the last time we saw him, so. We could, how many more advanced satellites do you have, dude? Well, you have 16. Why don't you go lay another one down here? I'll wait for you to tell me to take off. Uh, take off. Okay, and then, since you're going to be out and about again here, let's actually move this over a little bit. Why don't you go ahead and cover this path too? Maybe right about there. Okay, don't get shot. Don't get killed. Okay, so, the fact that this station is now once again under attack leads me to believe that the Asgard took out that third K. So I think we'll be okay on that end. Um, so now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Manage Plots. Um, and just use the default size. We've got to get that enemy ship out of there. I'm going to put this one really close to as close as I can just because I really want it to and I'm I thought about putting it in between them but I think we're just going to put it in front of the outgoing one because we're pre preventing them from coming through here not from going back in that's really the main thing okay so let's go here and then we're going to load our fully loaded cross defense platform and it's already pointing in the direction that I want it to, which is great. Okay. Confirm module changes. Assign our builder, which should be in this system. All right. And then we need to give our... Yeah, they're just fighting little guys, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I don't think we can assign the Incarcatuas to build storage yet until it's... Well, maybe we can. I think it has to have a manager, though. 
So we, we'll just have to manually tell it to transfer wares. So, yeah. You can give it all parts and claytronics. And then when you're finished, I just want you to fly back near the orca so you're protected. We were hit. I want you to go next. Transfer wares with build storage. And I already did the math on this, so these numbers should be exactly what the station needs. All right. Transfer wires with build storage. Shield components, turret components. These are all just turret components. Oh, I think I forgot to tell the last two ships to fly and wait afterwards. If I don't tell them that, then they'll actually try and go back home on their own, which I don't want them to do, of course. Okay, transfer wares with build storage. They're also all turret components. And Freighter 7 has a few more turret components, but then it also has all the stuff that we need for the station to make drones. Um, however, I don't have a large dock. Should have brought an M-Class ship with me. You might have to fly one over here. Um... Okay, let's get the rest of the turret components loaded. And then... What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to keep those in those other parts in the ship for the moment. And I'll probably, once things seem to be re reasonably under control here, I'll probably jump into an M-Class ship. Fly out here, have the freighter put it in the build storage, and then take it out with the M-Class and transfer it over that way. I don't want to put it in the build storage yet because the build storage, if it takes any damage at all, you lose some of the stuff in there. Um, I learned that the hard way when I was trying to set up the defense platform in Families Inn. It's rather frustrating. So I don't want to put any of that other stuff in there until... Look at that. These guys are these guys are probably going after that Asgard. But we do need to keep an eye on them because if they come our way, we're gonna have to pop back the big ships back in. Um, okay, so after this defense platform is down, um, then I'm gonna put one here at Family Crit. Um, and we're gonna put one up in Zyarth's domain. Oh, son of a bitch, they got another one up there already. Um, here. To, to stop this, because it's just a constant thing with these guys. Um, so yeah, let's take our katana and send them up there to take this thing out. The other thing that's, that I, you know, th this katana and fleet is actually supposed to be protecting Grand Exchange you know, against pirates, but I've had to keep them up here for a long time. And I know I could buy another fleet, but I just, I don't ever seem to have enough money. You know, 98 million is not a lot of money, you know, considered where we're at right now. So I'm trying to build my money up a little bit. Okay. So I think we're well underway with this. So I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. And then, um, uh, like I said, I'll keep an eye on these guys here. And we will bring you back at some point in the near future with an update. I am, you know, as I'm kind of waiting now for us to build our money and stuff up, I might actually do some storyline stuff in the next few episodes after I get these defense towers down. So that's kind of the tentative plan, but, you know, we'll see how things go. All right, so thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.